Tiny Tad here at Entertainment Junction again, and today I'd like to tell you about trains from the mid-1800s. Now back in those days, all the trains ran on steam. But how about if I just jump in there and show you some cool old locomotives? Now, to make steam, you need two things. You need water and heat. So the train had a boiler on it, and the boiler was filled with water, and they'd build a fire under it to turn the water to steam, and it would come down to this piston here, which would push a rod, which would turn the wheels. Now, early on, they used wood to put into the fire to make the steam to make the train go. The person who did that, by the way, was called a fireman, right? Now, wood was cheap and easy to find, but later on, they switched to coal, which they could put into the boiler. So now the only problem was water. Back in the mid 1800s, a train could only go about 100 miles or so before it needed to get more water. So, whoa. so they built water towers uh, like this one. All right, now the place where a train could stop and get water from a place like this was called a, a water stop. Uh, anyway, uh, they were a great place to stop, and they had a, a spout down there that could tilt down and put water into the bo boiler. Ooh, 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 whoa! So until next time, be sure to stay on track. Hey, uh, can somebody grab me a tiny towel?